Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the Mac by Channel TV. Newcastle, 2 0 winners away at Fulham. Finally, we've won an away game. Unbelievable stuff. Unfortunately, I was not there tonight in the away end. That lake of scup had plans for me. But respect the joys that travelled there and watched us win. I'll take the specs off because they are glaring in certain uh, lights there. Not good, really. But I'll tell you who was there for the away end. Big Al. Alan Shearer was there in the away end. Shearer and on the mags. Love to see that. Like, absolutely brilliant, that means. Shearer, Newcastle legend, the Premier League's all time record goal scorer, in and amongst the fans at Craven College. Not in no fancy box, you know, no fancy fish, none of that stuff, you know what I mean? Bit of salmon, bit of prosecco, no, 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 no for Shearer. And now a cheap, crappy paint in a pie for Al the day is Newcastle. I was going to say cruise, did we cruise? I mean, it wasn't a great game, put it that way. It wasn't anything to shout home about. But what is great is getting through the fifth round in the FA Cup for a long time, I got a good few years at least, really. Um, brilliant, that's all, that's all that matters in this, was all that matter was getting through to that next round in the FA Cup. The draw is tomorrow around 2 p.m. I'll be live on YouTube, so make sure you check that out live around 10 to 2, 5 to 2 tomorrow for that fifth round draw, where we will get Maidstone at home. I've called it now, but <laughs> I'll take that to be fair. I'll take anyone at home. It would be nice to get a bloody home draw for a change. But let's focus on tonight's game then. 2 0 winners. Newcastle, like I said, kind of comfortable, kind of not. I thought, you know, Fulham grew in the game a little bit. And that, they had that spell between 20 odd to 40 minutes where they were creating chances. Dubravka had to make one or two really good saves. I think there was one in particular from Dekadova Reed where he made a very good stop. So he comes in handy then. Uh, obviously, Newcastle should have took the lead very early on through Jacob Murphy, who made his first start in months. Great to see Murph back. Juicy J was back an eighth and he started straight away and he should have scored in the uh, in a couple of minutes in really you know he was one on one the ball fell to him after defensive error by Fulham and Murphy hit it straight at the keeper but I'll put that entirely down to a bit of ring rust to a bit of lack of match sharpness shall we say you know I think it was definitely the case that if he was up to, up to speed he would put that away or at least test to keep it a bit more straight at him but after that like I said Debrafka made a save it was a bit quiet, there wasn't loads of clear cut chances or opportunities. And then Newcastle take the lead just before half time through local lad, one of our own, Sean Longstaff. Half volley, brilliant finish, a lot of controversy if you're from the Fulham side of things, where they wanted handball on Bruno in the build up. It did bounce off Bruno's hand slash elbow slash arm. But um, again, what can he do at such close range? I don't think he can get out of the way, I don't think he means it. And does it really change the trajectory of the ball? I don't think so. Am I being biased there? Don't care. One to look at half time. Second half again, not much entertaining, not really flying out the blocks or anything to shout home about. But Newcastle get the second through big Dan Byrne. He gets the, the ultimately deciding goal for the two, which settles things. And he didn't celebrate much because obviously he used to play for Fulham. So Dan Byrne wraps things up there for Newcastle in a. Uh, off the top of my head I don't think much really happened after that to be honest with you 2-0 in the end but definitely since the second went in we just kind of sat back let the game peter out and I brought Richie on brought Tino Livermento on and it was I would say then definitely comfortable definitely definitely comfortable from then 2-0 to Newcastle but what I do want to talk about in this video as well is what is in the title and that is Almiron and Lascelles both absentees tonight not even in the match day squad, the pair of them. Very funny that, isn't it? Considering they have both been linked with moves away. Obviously, Callum Wilson has been linked away as well, but he's he's been injured for a, a few weeks. He's been injured forever, has he? Let's be honest, eh? When, was, when, when is he not injured? But I, <laughs> he, I wouldn't put, point the finger on him potentially moving or not being in the team tonight because he's never in the team. We know he's been injured for, for a while now, so I'm not really gonna say that's the reason or that's the issue. But with Almiron, a bloke who's never injured, never misses a game, all week he's linked to a move to Saudi Arabia. Yesterday, Friday, he's pictured going into the RVI. People are suggesting it could be a medical, it could be this. He's pictured with Newcastle staff. And then he's got illness. Well, he looked all right yesterday with that illness when he's, if he's got a fever or something, if he's got COVID, he's getting in the RVI yesterday. Again, it's all speculation. It's all rumour. What is the crap with Almiron? Who knows? But that certainly points to me like he's on the verge of a move, whether that be to Saudi or to someone else. 
for him not to be even in the match day squad, which forced Murphy to start, which again, brilliant by Murphy. I thought he did well, apart from missing that chance, but to come in after so long, to, to start to be thrown at the deep end, there you go. And no, no, no other choice, really, because there was no Miggy Amron, and that's how light we are on the right wing, which shows we would need to strengthen, obviously, if we did lose Miggy in the last few days of this transfer window. So Almiron, not even in the squad today, that's definitely raised eyebrows. For me, that's got a point towards a move. Illness, obviously, like I say, I'm just I'm just speculating my thoughts here and well, what thousands and millions of other people I see on social media as well, that it may point towards a move. Obviously, if he has got something wrong with him, but yeah, I hope he's all right. But if he's at the RVI yesterday, he looks fine, he's walking fine and everything, getting into that. I don't know, I just, with all the speculation, I find that very strange. And I know that Newcastle would be definitely willing to accept an offer of 25, 30 million if we can get close to that for him in the last few days and reinvest that financial fair play wise. Hugely makes sense for the club. So, no Almiron tonight on Jamal Lascelles. Lascelles could be a bit different. I mean, Lascelles, he's been playing a lot of football lately, really. Botman's now back. Uh, the, the clean sheet tonight for the defence, for, for Shaw and Botman and the rest of them. But you think, mm, Lascelles again, you know, his contract runs out in the summer. They're just trying to maybe get a couple of mil, few mil for him. Link with Bashik, that's everyone in Turkey and in that side of the world is seeing that the deal is done. They're seeing that the deal is done. So, and then all of a sudden he's not playing, where you think you would at least get on the bench. Even if you had a niggle, you think, ah, we'll drop on the bench just in case, you know, we desperately need him. But no Lascelles in the squad again would point conspiracies and would point fingers to think, mm, maybe. That's it for him and maybe he is on his way out as well. I would not be surprised. Like I said, I think this last few days of the window is going to really, really heat up mind. I really think it is. I think we're going to see a lot of movement as soon as we sell, especially we're selling Miggy for good money and we're going to invest that. Then I think we'll move for an Onana, an Edison, a Gibbs White, a Solanke, you know, someone like that. I think we will move for them. I really do. And if you can get the sellers' as wages off the books with him expiring his contract in the summer, that could be a big, big shifter as well. So that's something to keep an eye out as the window closes. But the FA Cup, I am absolutely buzzing to be in the next round because a lot of people were saying, you know, oh, this is it, season's over, we'll get beat off Fulham. And Fulham are a very good side, really, really good side, but they had the rest play last night. They were done after their... It's definitely helped Newcastle, them playing in the Carabao Cup semi-final just a few days ago against Liverpool where they drew 1-1 because... They look tired, they made loads of changes. There was no Williams starting, no Jimenez starting, no Paulinha starting, no Castagna, you know, big players for them were missing. So that was a bonus for the two. Because I don't think we look great tonight. We started pressing a little bit, we didn't create loads of chances, but we looked solid. It was com it, it was fairly comfortable. I would say that was good enough. It was decent enough performance away from home. It's nice to win a game away from home. What was that? Only the second to win away from home this season after the Sheffield United 8-0 thrashing, so I think that's the case anyways in all competitions. Yeah, so happy days, we're through the next round, that's the main thing. Good performance on the night, into the fifth round, that is all that matters, that's all I care about, because our season is still on the way, and like I said, I didn't think it was over at night anyways, even if we lost. We're 10th in the league, we're not far off 6th, 7th, we've got players to come back from injury, and we've got hopefully one or two signings as well. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. I think that's a really good result tonight. And we can go into the next round of the FA Cup with hopefully a fairly decent draw. Probably not. Probably Man City away. No, now look. But hopefully it's a home draw against anyone. I'll take it. Maybe even, um, like I said, a means a made stone. I can see that happen. I can see something like that. A really good. A big home draw against a, a Tyler Ad for a set up an FA Cup classic. Let's wait and see. But drop your comments below, people, what you thought of tonight's game. Subscribe to them up by Channel TV. 2 pm tomorrow, live stream, 10 new, something like that. And enjoy yourself.